Well has it been said that you are only one generation away from extinction. Were there to be one generation where my children, the Jews, ceased to carry out their responsibility for their children, their youths, then where would they be today? But they have been faithful. They have been faithful all the way. And because of their faithfulness, you have been saved. America, set the example for your children. Children often complain. It's part of their nature. Dad, why do we have to get up on this day? Dad, why do we have to do this on this day? And if a child had his own way, nobody would be going out there for Veterans Day. But as leaders, fathers and mothers who set the example for your children to explain the purpose of each of these important occasions. Are you not setting the example for not only your children, but your children's children? Single mothers, and there are so many, who will say to their young ones, come, Rise, it's the Lord's day. We're going to church. And they will say, No, Mom, not again. Do we have to? I'm tired, I'm sick. But with love in her heart and tenderness, she says, No, it's important. This day we set apart for the Lord. My children, this is what I'm looking for. The heart of a mother who understands that it's so very important to instill within her very own flesh and blood these values. I say to you, mothers, I say to you, fathers, I say to you, sisters and brothers, one nation under God. Rise in love, in strength, in gentleness, in tenderness, and set the example for your children. I say to you teachers in schools, this is a day not set apart because people are going to be fools, but if you don't teach them, then that's what they become, because the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Set in place those leaders and teachers, municipal leaders, state leaders, federal leaders, who will understand these tenets to set a good example for the nation. Set in place those who honor these good traditions. Because you're only one generation away from extinction on this memorial, this veterans, this armistice, and this remembrance day, says Yahweh, your Elohim. And to you who say, oh, it's okay, on this day, at home we will stay, we can watch it on TV on the internet. Let them go stand and honor the vets. I declare unto you, you are missing the truth. For I have called you to gather, to make pilgrimage, to set forth the example. When children live in booths who are Jews, they will say to their mom, to their dad, wow, this is really cool. And they will remember this day. It's very important to make the pilgrimage, to extend the effort, to take those steps and gather as a congregation, an assembly, on this day and each day that is set apart to be a memorial. It's not enough, my children, to just say, I'll just stay and watch it on TV. 
because the point is you gather so that you can reaffirm the importance of this day, the importance of this location, the importance of this memorial. On 9-11, people gather at the fountains at the World Trade Center, and they read to this day each name, because each name is a life. They died on that day, each of them a hero in their own right. A hero, you say? But what did they do on this day? They were but innocent victims. But there were many who did more than just stand and fall. But you have your fallen firefighters and policemen, your fallen heroes, the ordinary Joe on the street who took within his own heart, what can I do? But he fell under the rubble. You have many, my children. But all are honored on this occasion. And so how much more so those who put their very lives at risk to enlist and fight for your freedom. Honor this day, my children, especially on this day. Set an example for the entire nation. Mothers, set this example for your children. Fathers, rise early and make the trek for this occasion. Obedience in the small things enables you to be obedient in the more costly things. It is not difficult to set apart a day, to set apart an hour, to set apart a minute. Do it, because freedom will come to you, freedom to be obedient. When I call upon you to make a larger sacrifice, and each of you are to make your lives a living sacrifice unto the Lord Yahweh. If you can do this on occasions such as this and set in your own heart a good example, it will give you strength. It will help you to be strong when the day of battle comes. Pay the price now. Be faithful in the small things and you will have the strength to be faithful in greater things. And I watch and I'm aware and I test the hearts. I'm looking inside there to see, do you honor me on this day? Yeshua declared, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and yet you do not do what I say? So do what I say, my children, and it will help you so that you can be obedient unto Yahweh every day, in every way, from small to great. It starts when you're young. It starts when you learn to be obedient, even to what your fathers taught you. These traditions are of great value to you. And sometimes it's not just one man who stands at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Sometimes in inclement weather, there are not many who gather. It can be a lonely station, but does not the obedience to follow the traditions of this station speak loudly as an entire nation? Be that faithful soldier for me, my children. Be that faithful soldier who will stay at his post, fulfill his mission to be the soldier who stands at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Because this speaks loudly as a nation. Those who hear my name who hear my voice and will obey, who understand what it is to be a soldier in the army of Yahweh. 
I am Yahweh Sabaoth, the Lord of the heavenly hosts. I am the Lord, ruler of all forces in the universe. And if I am Lord of the universe, then am I Lord of you? Of course. So make that stand. Be a good soldier and fight. Run this race and lay aside every weight that so easily besets and press toward the high mark of the calling in Yeshua, your Messiah. He is the author and he's the finisher of your faith. And he ran the course that was set before him. He ran his race. And because he did, Salvation has come to the human race. So every single day, my children, honor him. Set yourselves apart for him. Bow your heart, bow your life to him. And it will go well with you, my children. This is my promise to you.